Hello, hey people, it's me, Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl. I am here in my kitchen on this fine National Dog Day. Jamie, are you there? I am, happy National Dog Day. Happy National Dog Day, what's Penny Lane doing? Oh, she's sitting here getting ready for your live. Oh, well, she's being very quiet. <laughs> my, my house is very quiet because uh, my husband Dan took Lolly to the beach this afternoon on dog day and Bam Bam is just sitting quietly on the other side of the room. So hey people, hey Amanda, Regina, the usual suspects are flying in, Aaron's there. You know what, I don't know if this angle looks okay but I'm not leaning on a weird can because I wanted to see the comments. So do I look different? <laughs> Is it working? But is everybody saying, okay, first of all, why is Lisa wearing a hoodie tied up to the top and zipped up to the top like some kind of a maniac? And that is because I wanted everyone to be able to see my I Heart Elvis hoodie. Do you see this? I thought you were going to reveal a banana shirt. <laughs> no, I wore my banana shirt already. So everyone's like probably thinking, hey, why is Lisa not wearing a banana shirt? Well, tonight there, there is a banana related recipe. And that is because tomorrow is Banana Lover's Day. That is, is that a national day or a local day? Hey, it might be an international day. You're right, it might be an international day. So if you love bananas, tomorrow is your day. And because I've been doing a lot of banana recipes lately, I was thinking, how do we change it up? And I wanted to add peanut butter. So I know that Elvis, the king, oops, that was one of my trivia questions. What was his nickname? No, Elvis was a lover of peanut butter and banana, and his famous sandwich was the fried peanut butter and banana sandwich. Did you know that, Jamie? Uh, yeah, I think we have a Hungry Girl version, right? We do have a Hungry Girl version of it. And it's funny because a lot of people think that there was another ingredient involved. People think he also added bacon to it, but actually he did not add bacon, but he loved peanut butter and banana. So tonight, I am making, in honor of Elvis, and in honor of Banana Lover's Day, I am making a skinny Elvis dessert dip. Skinny Elvis dessert dip. So if you seem excited about that, you better send hearts right now and likes because that's how we're gonna judge you and give out prizes. Are we giving out prizes tonight? I think we are. Do you wanna know what they are? Tell me. All right, I made some art. Now, I have, I have to be honest with you. Elvis is a little before my time, but Elvis, is classic, right? Like Elvis transcends all decades. So I should know more about Elvis than I actually do, and I'm embarrassed to say that I don't. But I know enough to know that he had a famous song, a little less conversation, a little more snackshin. Get it? It's a little little less conversation, a little more action. Jamie, you're too young. You're too young to even know that song. But if you like this art, I thought it was clever. I made that. Yep, thought about it with my own tiny brain. I signed the back, and there it is. A little less conversation, a little more snack -tion. Because we are making an Elvis-inspired snack tonight. It is a skinny Elvis dip, despite the fact that it is creamy. It tastes a little bit like banana peanut butter cheesecake. It only has 70 calories a serving. 70 measly calories a serving. Two tiny little Weight Watchers points no matter what color plan you're on. What are the colors these days? Chartreuse, purple, um, cy cyan, aqua, exactly. Anyway, no matter what color plan you're following, it's two points. So if you like that, if you're happy, you should share this. And by sharing this recipe, you will also have a chance to win this art or these spoons. I bet you could have guessed I was giving the spoons away. We're giving away these lovely Hungry Girl measuring spoons. And also, because Elvis is classic, giving away the Hungry Girl classic Chew the Right Thing recipe cards. Woo! Jamie, do you own these? I was gonna say, what do I have to do to get it back? <laughs> what do you, you just have to basically, the next time you're in the office, just steal some and take them home. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> I mean, take them, they're yours. I mean, you've only been working there 14 years. So what's going on tonight? I want everybody, ask questions and tell me what you are doing. Can they post pictures? I want them to post pictures of their dogs. No, I don't oh. think they can, not in a while. Maybe after the fact, post pictures of your dog. Tell us things, tell us why you like the Hungry Girl Daily emails or why you wanna win a prize. Again, you can win these recipe cards. You can win this special Elvis art that I made. 
for these measuring spoons. All you have to do is share this recipe, like, interact, say things to us, answer my silly trivia questions, which will all be Elvis related tonight, believe it or not, and then just enjoy. So here we are. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make myself a little more comfortable. I'm gonna, I'm gonna undo this and reveal my, not too much, I have a tank top. All right, <laughs> we're gonna start. This dip is a peanut butter banana situation. So I'm gonna start with a banana. The recipe calls for actually a half a cup of mashed banana. And that's about one medium banana. This banana is medium sized. It looks huge on this. You know, I have to tell you, last time I made a banana recipe, I was told how to get rid of these strings. You're supposed to peel the banana upside down, but I didn't follow my own hack. So I'm sorry about that. Did anybody try that at home? Because I still have not tried it. I know, I've heard that. I wonder if it's true. You heard it from me because I, ma I made it up. No, I didn't make it up. I... That's where I get all my food. <laughs> is that where you get all, is that where everyone gets all their food news? So the first thing I'm doing is I'm mashing my banana very gingerly in a bowl. So this is like a sort of medium sized bowl and you want to mash that banana. It smells really good. Jamie, what are you going to do to celebrate Banana Day tomorrow? Oh, wow. Honestly, my favorite recipe that you made recently with bananas is the banana boost drink. Oh, you're going to have a banana boost. Yeah. Good. That's a smart... I think I'm going to do that, too. I'm a yeah. copycat. I'll post the recipe for people. Please, thank you. I, I'm definitely... You know, I used to wonder why people used to call people copycatters. Like, I'm a copycatter. No, it's a copycat. Okay. Anyway. There is my banana. That's about a half cup, right? That's what I would say. All right, next up, I've got a bowl. This is just like sort of a medium bowl. This is a pretty green bowl. And I'm gonna start building my recipe with, this ingredient is cream cheese. You can use a light cream cheese. I these days have been using whipped cream cheese because I've recently discovered the joys of whipped cream cheese. Because the stats are the best, the flavor is the best, and I'm a fan, so we need three tablespoons of this stuff. I think I should start with some Elvis trivia while I do this. What do you think? Yeah, okay. I don't know if there's any Elvis fans out there, but if you know, what was Elvis's first US hit? What was Elvis's first United States number one hit, I should say? What was his first number one? Do you know? Guess that one. There's a lot. There's okay, a lot. People have some good banana ideas. Can I tell you one? Yeah, tell me. It's, I forget who said it. It's one of our, like, maybe people. It was Rosemary said okay. she adds a banana to pancake mix with egg whites and makes banana, makes banana pancakes that way. Whoa, that's great. I that's really good. That's fantastic. <laughs> Yummy. All right, hold on. I am getting my cream cheese, which was room temp, by the way. I'm getting it mixed in the bowl nicely, so it's it's not a very official cooking term. Too gloppy. <laughs> gloppy. Is Lolly watching out there? Or Dan and Lolly in the audience? Because I need to give Lolly a shout out because she's not in the house and I miss her terribly. Oh, I haven't seen them yet. Oh, maybe they're, they're busy. Pretty vocal when they're here. Yeah, when they're here, they are vocal. <laughs> um, Elvis's first number one hit in the United States. Does anyone know what that might be? Was it hell? That's a really good answer, but no. Sadly, it was not Hound Dog. By the way, the next, the next ingredient. Loose weight shoes? Loose, no. I'll just tell you, it was Heartbreak Hotel. Oh, I didn't see anyone guess that. There oh. There a lot of guesses, I didn't see that one. They just made things up. Next ingredient. Oh, just it. <laughs> well, it's because I just said it. This is the no, Fi, <laughs> Fi A total 0%. We're gonna use a half cup of this stuff. the best yogurt ever. So good. I'm mixing it up. This is so creamy. You know, I once sent this to the lab because I didn't believe it was so creamy that I didn't believe that it actually was fat free. So I sent it all the way to the lab and spent $200 to have it tested. And guess what? <laughs> it's fat free. Nothing better than getting good news back from the lab. <laughs> yes. I, t I couldn't agree more. Honestly, it so rarely happens. Usually you get news yeah. back from the lab and it's like, we're sorry to inform you that your item has, you know, 78% more fat grams and calories than you thought. Just kidding. I don't want to be a downer today. <laughs> I'm not kidding. All right. 
Um, this was a half a cup of Greek yogurt, which I have now added to my medium-sized bowl. This is starting, look at this, it's so fluffy already. I'm gonna mix that a little bit. Next, I'm going to add my whipped topping. So tonight I'm using Cool Whip Free. You can use whatever light whip topping you choose. This happens to be Cool Whip Free. I also use True Whip Light or Light Cocoa Whip. Any one of your favorite whipped cream oh, situations. Oh, said hi from Memphis. Oh, Memphis. You know, this sweatshirt came from Graceland. <laughs> and you know what Graceland is, don't you? It was where Elvis okay. lived. Elvis, yes, and one of my trivia questions is, why did Elvis call it Graceland? Why was it named Graceland? I used to call it Graceland until yeah. everyone, everyone made fun of me. <laughs> no, but a lot of people say that. Okay, well then I won't make fun of them because I did also. So this is one cup of my light whipped topping, which is going in here. It was plain, fat-free, Faye, total 0% Greek yogurt. And boy, is it yum-tastic. I hope I have enough room in my bowl. <laughs> All right, before I put the banana in, I'm gonna put a little bit of vanilla. So we have a tea, uh, teaspoon of vanilla. Oh, we, oh, we have a thousand people in the audience. Isn't that exciting? Yeah. They must all love Elvis. So we have a teaspoon of vanilla, and then I'm gonna do a sweetener and a half. One and a half sweetener packets. I'm using Truvia. It's natural. It's stevia based. I also like Swerve, as you know. I'm a big Swerve fan. And so I'm using a half of this one. I'm going to save the other half for a special topping because that's when the peanut butter is coming in. And now I'm going to put my banana into my bowl. So check this out. Wait, do I owe you a trivia answer? I think I do. Why he called it Graceland. Yeah. Did anybody guess? Um, close, but no. The reason is because it used to be a church. Isn't that interesting? Oh. It was actually a church. So there's, look at that, please. This is so banana-licious. Oh, that looks so good. Hold on, I'm gonna put a little dash of salt. Just an itty bitty to help balance out the sweetness. This is so fluffy. It is like a banana cloud. I want to take a nap on this. I really do. You know what I did? I have to tell you, the last week I made that chocolate dip and I just, I ate it like I didn't dip anything into it other than a spoon. But I would only have like a couple of spoonfuls at a time, but I was like, it does not need a dipper. It is just so good on its own. So this is like a fluffy cloud of banana cheesecake mousse. Please view this. It's not done yet, by the way. I have to add the uh, the special Elvis part. But if you like this, click like. If you are enjoying what you're seeing, you should share this with your friends. Um, if you don't have any friends, you should make some. And then share it with your new friends. Share it with your dog. It is dog It is dog day. I don't know what that means exactly. What are, what are you doing to celebrate dog day? I'm just giving Penny lots of hugs. Yeah. I do that every day. Every day in my life is dog day too. Okay, it's just, it is what it is. All right, now I'm taking a small bowl and I'm gonna mix the peanut butter portion of the dip situation. So here's the deal. If you don't know what powdered peanut butter is, it means you've not been watching me for the past five months on Facebook because I use it almost every day in these lives, but it's basically peanut flour. It's defatted peanuts turned into a flour and it is a great peanut butter substitute, but also I use it along with regular peanut butter sometimes. But for this recipe, I'm using three tablespoons of powdered peanut butter. By the way, if you enjoy my tablespoon, you can win it along with the set of the Hungry Girl Spoons. There it is, the tablespoon's pink. All right, so we have three tablespoons of powdered peanut butter, and then the other half of my sweetener is going into this powdered peanut butter because this is a dessert dip, and we want to just like amp up the sweetness of the peanut butter topping. Don't you think that's a good idea? I do. Excellent idea. Excellente. Now we're going to mix this. 
I want to get my spoon prepped. All right, so the key, the key to success with powdered peanut butter is not to, is to get the texture perfect with the right amount of water. So for this particular recipe, I'm gonna start with, and I end up always using exactly two tablespoons of water to the three tablespoons of peanut butter. And I find that that, that ratio is perfect. Can you see in my bowl? Hopefully. Yes, we've got a, a, a note from our very helpful test kitchen manager, Erin. Did you add any salt to this? Yes, I did. I added a yeah, dash of salt. salt, yes. Did she miss that? Maybe. <laughs> she was just making sure. Erin's the best. Everyone give Erin a shout out. Give Erin a little shout out. Okay. I'm gonna do a tiny little smidge more water because I really wanna play around with this peanut butter and dollop it nicely. But look at that, look at the texture. The thing that I happen to love about powdered peanut butter is the fact that you can make it the texture of peanut butter from a jar. So if you're out there and you love powdered peanut butter, I want you to tell me why. Because guess what, I love it too. And I use it in everything. I use it in shakes, I use it in oatmeal, I use it in dips, I use it when I bake, I make sandwiches out of it, I make bagel bites with it, and I love it. All right, so there it is. Okay. And now, this is the fun part. There's my bowl of dip, and I'm gonna dollop this peanut butter on top of this banana-liciousness. And I have another trivia question while I do this. Are you ready? Okay. What did Elvis earn in 1960? And please, whatever you do, don't try to tell me like his salary. What did he earn? Like, what did he get in 1960? He earned something that was pretty special. I think I know, so I'm not gonna guess. Really? I, well, I, I don't know if you know. I don't think you do. <laughs> not to, I don't wanna doubt you, Jamie. All right, but wait, while you people are answering, I'm gonna show you, you wanna swirl, we're gonna make this beauteous. So you swirl the peanut butter with a knife. So you, you make it look, I don't know if this is the ugliest thing I've ever seen or the most beautiful. I'm gonna say beautiful. <laughs> I love this. this, this recipe is so much fun. All right, will you be disgusted if I taste it off the knife? This is my bowl of dip and I can do anything I want with it. All right, this is the skinny Elvis dip that has been completed. It is based on our banana cream pie dip from a couple years ago. You're probably wondering, okay, what the heck do I do with this dip once it's finished? Do you wanna know? Yeah. I like pretzels. For a while I was gonna call it the Elvis pretzel dip because that is like the corniest joke, Elvis pretzel. Oh. There was some kind there was some joke from my childhood where, and if anyone can remember the joke where the punchline was Elvis pretzel, it was like, who's salty and swivels his hips and is crunchy. And it's like Elvis pretzel. Anyway, so I'm going to dip my pretzel. These are flat pretzels, which are too dangerous for any human to have in the house for a long period of time. Mm. This tastes like fluffy banana cheesecake with peanut butter on top and are people enjoying this, what it looks like? Yes. How many servings is that? Eight. Eight okay. servings. So wait, what's eight times seven is 56? Yes. All right, so it's 560 calories for this whole bowl. There is no way you eat this whole bowl. Yeah, but let's say, it. right, no, but if you ate like a third of it as dessert, like a banana mousse, that would not be a lot of calories. I mean, I'm not like a mathematician, but it's very few calories, less than 200. What? Yeah, it's two, yep, yeah, this is actually, this is a quarter cup. So the quarter, quarter cup serving size, you could actually put it, spoon it into a little dessert dish and eat it as a dessert and you're done. Like it's good to go. But you could also dip apples in this. You could dip graham crackers in this. Whatever, whatever your little heart desires, as my mom would say. Do you know what Elvis earned in 1960? Did he earn a black belt? Yes. You, did you know that? Yeah, he earned a black belt in karate. Karate. 
I don't think people are seeing my shirt enough. I bought this in Memphis. Who's out there in Memphis? Really? People are, my husband's from Memphis. I spent much time in Memphis and I love it. All right, this is the, El the Skinny Elvis Dip. Again, it is a fantastic recipe. If you forgot how I made this, or if you were too distracted by my shirt, you can find the recipe at hungry-girl.com slash live. That's where you'll be able to see this video, get this recipe. Um, Jamie, you posting links everywhere? I just posted it, it's a pinned comment. It's a pinned comment, so you can find the recipe for this, but it only has a few ingredients, including 100% um, fat-free Greek yogurt, some light whipped cream cheese, a banana, what else is in there, whipped topping, some vanilla, some sweetener, we have powdered peanut butter. It's just a whole extravaganza of a dip. Yeah. All right. Speaking of delicious extravagances, yes. is, there a new is there a recipe coming in tomorrow's Hungry Girl email? Oh, there sure is. It's some kind of pina colada whip situation, right? It's the freezy yeah. whip. How do they get Recipe. You sign up for daily emails. If you got listen, guys, if you don't get the Hungry Girl daily emails, you should sign up. Go to hungry-girl.com. Sign up for daily emails. They are great. They are life changing. Somebody just said you should put mini chocolate chips on top. That's good. Someone said I love your shirt. I love Elvis. I want the HG cards. Okay, you guys, if you want to win these cards or the spoon or my very clever Elvis art, just share this recipe with your friends. Lots and lots and lots of sharing. That's the way to win. Also just commenting. And if you suck up, if you suck up to Gina sometimes, you know, that might help you too. Right? I don't know. Is Gina out there? I'm sure she is. Oh, she's here. Oh, hey Gina. All right, I think that's it. Unless there are any questions, I might let you guys go because I need to go eat some of this dip before I put it in the fridge. I also need to take a selfie with it, right? Yes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, well, I will be back soon with yet another recipe. I don't know what that's going to be. I think I'm making uh, Black Forest Bagel Bites next, right? So that's those are, good. they're amazing. So thank you so much, Jamie. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. I love you guys. I so appreciate you being here. Please make this. If you make it, post pictures of it and let me know how you like it. I'm Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl. Till next time, chew the right thing.